The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son. And you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too. Your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son. And she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, and sisters. The whole story begins here. The Annunciation of our Lord to Mother Mary. What must Mary have been doing at that time? What she must have been thinking? Was she thinking about all these things about the coming of the Lord? Was she preparing or cooking at home? Was she working in the field? Was she cleaning the floor? What was she doing, you think? She was an ordinary woman. She was betrothed to Joseph. So these things must have been going in her mind about marriage, about raising family with children. And for a woman or a man who is about to get married, these things go in deep within themselves. They begin to think. So rather than thinking about all the worldly things, she must have been thinking about her marriage and family life to come. Within that, the word of the Lord comes to her through Gabriel, the angel who announces with a greeting and lets her know that God's favor is upon her. 
it was a big shock for her but the word of god cools down mary saying relax do not get worried do not be anxious do not get afraid for god's favor has been upon you the power of the spirit has overshadowed you you are filled with the grace of god mary begins to get that strength but she questions the angel how can this happen i am just betrothed i am not married i have not had any relationship but the angel reminds that she is the one who is favored mother mary had all the idea about the scriptures what is spoken in isaiah a woman will conceive yes she was a very pious and spiritual woman very dedicated to god and that is how the word of god god has come in truth to her to make his dream a reality through mother mary and what a grace for this woman to have this blessing of the word to be conceived in her womb and she to bear this savior in her womb let it be done according to thy word accepting the word of god all the dreams have shattered but a greater cause is ahead now there is going to be disturbance in the family but god will take care of everything if the word of god comes to a people who really accept they will cooperate in the plan of god and god's plan is to redeem the whole humanity to redeem all of us and therefore he chooses this pure pious and a real woman who will never say no to the word of god so my dear friends we to get the angel gabriel coming to us in various forms in life whether it is in choosing the spouse whether it is in conceiving the child of god whether it is a job or anything and everything including charity and generosity we need to respond to the word of god first of all we need to know the word of god we need to know the scriptures well we need to listen and then we need to cooperate with god with the plans that he has for us during this holy eucharist let us ask the lord that whatever plans he has for each one of us may be fulfilled through the power of his spirit through the inspiration that he gives us and that we may never lack or go astray from him amen